<clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. First TED talk and our first relationship have a similarity in that. You're either nervous and excited at the same point in time. So don't be judgmental, it's my first TED talk. I'll walk you through some of the interesting aspects of the technology and we'll see how the Holy Trinity can actually change the life what we have already thought about. Problems. We all have problems in our life. The moment we are born, the moment we die, we all encounter different problems. Some problems are small, some problems are big, some problems are extra large. But we are humans. Humans have a tendency to solve a problem. There is a catch, which is why we are on the top of a food chain. I cannot win a fight with a lion, but I can take a mic and stand in front of lion sitting here and tell my story. So, I'll share a couple of aspects or a couple of problems from my story. When I was nine years old, my grandmother told me that your grandfather has gifted you a piece of land. I wasn't concerned about that because I used to play cricket. The only need I had at that point in time was a cricket bat. Fast forward to 15 years. The moment I've seen it, how life works and the reality of how people work in society, I started wondering about what happened to that piece of land. I went back to my grandmother. My grandmother said, it's not more there. I said, why? It got seized. I said, who did that? Somebody else built a property on top of that. How can somebody take a right on a piece of land which has been gifted by my grandfather to us without having alleged proof? Then this problem wasn't unique. The moment I came across an article in 2016 in Times of India, 60% of the litigation in India is about the land dispute. Trust. I would like to ask you a question. Do you trust your friends? Recently, the definition of trust or the meaning of trust is being loosened because of the intermediaries and the centralized institutions. We used to trust. The definition of a trust is somebody who can be reliable, can be honest, and doesn't harm you. Do you trust banks? Do you trust IPFS or IP, Internet Protocol? Do you trust what is mentioned on the products you buy? Do you trust the government? I used to trust, but when I started looking at the things which are happening in the ecosystem, I started doubting myself, what is happening? The first example you all are aware of, Punjab National Bank. Cloud got compromised, most of the pictures went on the internet, most of them are nude pictures. Facebook, 50 million accounts recently got compromised. And there is an efficient uh, mechanism to, to, to address to all these problems. I'll walk you through once we go ahead. So I started doubting myself, what is happening in the society? What are these cases all about? Why there is so much of a question of a trust? Then I found a solution. Had I told you a solution earlier, you wouldn't realize the problem. And the solution I found it way later, the land got seized. Continuing my story, like all Indian families, I did an engineering by chance. <laughs> Imagining that there is a bright future. I got rejected by 10 plus companies who came for my campus placement. And there is a saying that rejection is a pursuit of success. 2014, I was going through different websites, browsing what's happening in the cricket, looking at what's happening across the nation. And the moment I came across the ad was learn more about Bitcoin. My uncle, who is a lawyer, was talking about it because there were a lot of cases around Bitcoin. So I started reading about it. I got more curious. Then I started asking people around me, what is blockchain? 
people gave me an answer like a Rubik's cube. There's no, there's no particular answer to solve this problem. People have been giving that it's illegal because it's not controlled by an authority, it's not by sovereign, it's by something else. But the technology has a power, and the technology is called blockchain. Now, if I ask you a question, how many of you eat organic fruits and vegetables? How do you ensure it's really organic or not? We all wear branded clothes. How do you ensure it's authentic? You might have contributed to the Kerala Relief Fund. How do you ensure that it has reached to the last mile? Have you asked this question? How many of you have cancelled a flight ticket? Do you get an instant refund? You go to hotels, you provide your identity, and the identity is in the hands of hotel until unless you cross sign it. Have you asked this question? How many of our resumes are 100% honest? <laughs> I can write anything on LinkedIn. Nobody is there to validate it. A few days back, I wrote it. I was a member of parliament of Nambia. People started congratulating me. <laughs> My nephew celebrates two birthdays in a year. One because of the school, other one for the family. They fast forwarded their age because they can get an admission early. Crazy. So all these questions I started asking myself, like what is it going on? Why nobody is asking about these problems who are there in the society? People are only running to make money. And the best part is, the winner of a rat race is also a rat, right? Mm -hmm. So I took close to four years to learn about blockchain technology. I read different other things from barter to digital to what happened in between the currencies used to exchange, Bretton Woods Conference. And then I thought this technology has a power to actually revolutionize what hasn't been thought earlier. All these problems of trust, this technology can actually address it. Now, let's talk about what blockchain is all about. Let's take an example, your family. Your family maintains a common fund. And this common fund is put on an Excel sheet. This Excel sheet is not managed by anyone but maintained by anyone, everyone. What money you have got it from your friend is added on the Excel sheet. Where your father is spending for the electricity bill, it's added on the Excel sheet. Your mother giving to a mate, your sister earning a salary, you giving to your friends, it's all added on the Excel sheet. There's only one mechanism, it's to add. No one can append it. And it's transparent, everyone can see what has happened to that common fund. Sounds good? Sounds good? This is blockchain. In a complex term, it's a distributed, decentralized ledger. It's a trustless system which you trust. It's not maintained by anyone. It's not centralized. It's decentralized in nature. Let's take an example. If you guys have to wrap this TEDx platform in DTU, it will be taken through a consensus. And consensus is a backbone of a blockchain. If the consensus is achieved, the transactions get added to a block. You can also assume that blockchain is nothing but a train where the transactions are added and all these blocks are synchronized, with the sequential in nature. If you try and compromise with the block, the other block may, not, may or may not be found. But when I started reading about blockchain, I thought this technology can actually address to a lot of problems within the society. Now, if I ask you what is more valuable, is a phone more valuable or data inside? Data. Glad, you're an intelligent audience. People have said the phone is more valuable because it's an iPhone. <laughs> so, but when you look at the data which is produced by the different institutions in the economy or being maintained by different institutions and authority in the economy, you don't have a control. My Google Drive got frozen for six odd months. I don't know the reason. I don't know what happened with the content which was there in the drive. So blockchain is a beautiful emerging technology to address the problem of trust because it's decentralized in nature. Everyone can see that what's happening on the distributed ledger. But 
Along with blockchain, a lot of technologies can combine and give you a substantial approach to address the multiple problems which are there of trust, questions of human behavior, the questions of device being connected, and like I said, the real estate problem which was there of with respect to my grandfather can actually be addressed by blockchain because I can actually see that who has taken this land, this land was bought by someone from my, uh, my grandfather has bought this land from someone, someone has bought this land from my grandfather and who is maintaining this land as a trail of transactions. So blockchain can address multiple problems which has a question of trust. Now, blockchain is not only the technology and it's not only the technology which can exist at standalone. Even at the atomic level, you have electrons, protons, and neutrons. I believe when blockchain combined with other technologies, it can unlock the potential and can unlock in a way of a greater uh, aspect of humanity and can address to multiple problems. So when I looked at blockchain, I looked at from a three angles that it can be combined with artificial intelligence, internet of things, and then I've tried to call it as a term called Holy Trinity. We all have been aware of Holy Trinity called Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. So what is artificial intelligence? So if I take a phone out of my pocket, you guys can easily understand that this is a phone. It's cubicle in nature and something which can fit it on my hand. And you're, you guys are self-understood and can, you have uh, been educated in the past. If this action can be performed by machine, in an artificial manner and machines can start predicting. The moment you write happy on your phone, the next keyword it suggests is birthday. Right? The moment you write something, it starts predicting because of your human behavior. So an intelligent decision which can be predicted or mimicked by a machine in a manner that it looks at the data which has been fed inside and can give you a more accurate decision. This is nothing but an artificial intelligence. I'm a single guy uh, who works for my family. I've been literally close to my grandmother because my parents used to work and she has uh, actually taken care of me very well. I've started realizing that she's have, she has been feeling lonely because I've started tra traveling across because of the work. So what I did, I did an experiment. I gifted an Alexa to my grandmother on her 75th birthday. I actually visualized and tried to analyze what all activities my grandmother does it. She, she has a grocery list on Alexa. She has a track of all her friends' birthday on Alexa. She has a track of when to take a medicine. She has a track of all the contact lists on Alexa. And she can reach out to us when the, if there is a case of emergency. That's beautiful. How many of you have actually faced a problem when you book an Uber? and the driver doesn't turn out to be on the right location, right? But we are leaping forward towards an autonomous vehicles or an autonomous cars. What will happen that time? Can a device be synced to each other and can, you can act, it can actually detect the location and come to the right spot because there's no human interface. When you go to a hotel, they give you a card to access your room. I have lost dozens of cards when I live in a hotel. That's difficult to carry. Why can't my phone unlock it? Why can't my phone act as a boarding pass and I can interact with machine rather than a human and a machine, to machine interaction becomes seamless and I can access through different locations? That's nothing but an the internet of things. The devices which are interconnected and can give you an accurate interaction or seamless interaction between two machine machines rather than a human to machine interaction. We have started paying to the POS point of sale rather than to a human because of our credit and debit cards. Now, keeping the time in mind, uh, if I look at it, the interactions which are getting reduced from a human to human to machine to machine, moving to the last decade of technologies we have seen, social, mobile, and a cloud, these were the platform technologies, and the next big technology wave will be a peer-to-peer -peer technology. I'm sure you, you share the Netflix account, username and password to your friends, right? Why can't you monetize on top of that? Can you share your drive which, is, which doesn't have a use for next one week and you can 
make it a storage for the other people, something similar to what BitTorrents used to do. Now, let's imagine a day in 2013 or 2014. This is not something for your children or grandchildren. Imagine you wake up with a music rather than an annoying alarm clock. And the mood of you, mood of yours will be sensed with respect to the smartwatch if you have, you have uh, worn while sleeping. The moment you went into the washroom, the temperature of a geezer is all noticed automated because it has seen that you have, you have went to the skin doctor last night, you might have had some problem, the temperature already adjusted. The plants start getting the water automatically with respect to the nutrients which requires in the plant. You book an autonomous car, you pay by cryptocurrency, you reach out to a Starbucks and the machines start, co start communicating with each other. Hey, my cappuccino is getting over, can I lend it? Hey, my latte is out of the box, can you lend it to me? And from the facial recognition, I can get my favorite coffee and pay by cryptocurrency and all these transactions are stored on a blockchain. None of the centralized institution or the authority has the control of it. I said I can get a message on my wristwatch that the heartbeat of my mother started getting higher. And the moment I call her, I realize that she's watching a horror movie. <laughs> right? My friends are coming tonight, but my, my device can sense that the refrigerator is out of tomatoes, automatically orders from e-commerce, the payment gets deducted from my wallet in terms of crypto assets, and the tomato gets de delivered at my home before the relatives arrive. Is it possible? Do you see that the future? I see that the combination of blockchain, AI, IoT is a new wave of emerging technology and it's not, the change is not linear, it's more of an exponential and can, it, can bring, it can bring a lot of advantage not only to the economy but can completely change the definition of humanity. This is my favorite quote, convergence, a world where data is, data is a new oil captured by the Internet of Things, which are the devices, managed by distributed ledger technology, which is nothing but a blockchain, coordinated by crypto assets, action by artificial intelligence. Thank you very much.